literally just driving. This guy has decided to hitchhike on that mirror. He's like, where have you stopped? Let's call you Bozo. you're having a little intimacy in your lives and as always I'm talking about intimacy with nature so we are still at Matopo National Park and right now we are going to a um, place called Pomongwe Cave and earlier on we were driving and then we saw the white rhino my absolute favorite the white rhino so I'm just gonna jump there so that you guys catch up with us and then I'll meet with you after you've washed that we were driving and the white rhino just came we were literally just driving without even What happened here is that as we were watching the white rhino from a distance, we could see that it was going up and down the road, like crossing the road and going into the bush and coming back out. And we figured out, okay, this white rhino probably wants to go up the road, but it doesn't want to use the bush. However, it's not comfortable with how far our vehicle is from the road. I will show you now the GoPro footage of how far we were from the white rhino so you don't have to get too close to an animal to see it because it's not comfortable for a wild animal. So we're actually not that close to the white rhino but it, we were a bit too close to the road where it actually wanted to cross. So what we did is we reversed as slowly as we possibly could so that we don't spook it. And then after reversing, we went as further out of the road as we possibly could. And soon after that, the white rhino just came and went past our vehicle. And it just went happily and it was so comfortable. So we had a lot of time to just look at it and just enjoy its beauty without it running away because we spooked it or we made it feel uncomfortable. This morning what actually happened is that we woke up around 6, right? Yeah. And there so. was no electricity. And we tried to wait and wait and wait, but nothing. Is he doing laundry that one down <laughs> It's like he's eating something. Does he have a baby? No. Well, I don't know. The baby's not with it. We're just looking at baboons, guys. 
So we then, you know, bathed with like a few drops of lukewarm water because there is a geyser. And then we couldn't have tea because there is no bed up for cooking when there is no electricity. Then we come out and then we see that there is actually a generator. Which is a good thing. Oh, eh, eh, eh. This is the male bush bug mm. with the horns. to hitchhike on that mirror. I don't even know if he's not burning though. Seems okay enough. Seems so. Look at him. He's like, where have you stopped? Let's call you Bozo. Yeah, I'm late. <laughs> oh baby, please stop. Just So this is the Komongwe here.
and do things here, like literally. This baby is not even budging, you know. Look at him. He's like, find another road. I already had someone saying how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. It's, beautiful. it's definitely beautiful. Too. This is the dining area, which looks pretty cool.